there. Uh, but I was a Penny fan, especially him, along with Shaq in those days with the Magic. He just couldn't stay healthy. Uh, it's it's sad that he wasn't able to, but I'm a big fan of Penny, and I think it would be great for him to get opportunity to coach. Also, I found out this week, the NCAA as a whole, NCAA as a whole, tops $1 billion in revenue for the first time. How, how crazy is that? The NCAA is a $1 billion industry. $1 billion. A $1 billion industry. That's crazy. Number one. Number two, and you mean to tell me you can't pay? You can't pay these kids? You mean to tell me you can't pay these kids with the amount of money that's being made? I don't agree with that. They got money to pay. They got money to pay. So we're taking callers for the remainder of the show. So we got 55 minutes. Num- call in numbers 469-351-0881. So, join in, call in, give me your thoughts on what I'm talking about. But the NCAA is is making money. Making money. And I say money, I mean millions. Hand over fist. They are just constantly, constantly making money. Shout out to Big L. He says, what's yo, Ben BS3. He said he's in these streets. Appreciate you, Big L, for coming through. As always, appreciate you. But NCA is making huge amounts of money. A lot. So, to say, well, we don't have the money or we just want them to get education. That that they they have the money. They got money to, to pay. They just don't want to. That's simply the answer. They got money to pay, but they just flat out don't want to pay. And the, all of this money that's just floating around. I don't get it. Don't get it at all. But I'll definitely say. If they choose to work out a plan, I think they need to definitely work out a plan to make sure these kids get money or able to get a job or maybe both. So, Tony Wilborn says they need to pay these kids for real. Things like this makes me hope LeVar can get that junior league started. I, I, Me too. I was a little skeptical at first, but I think this would be perfect. Because I think there needs to be something there for for that particular reason. I think there needs to be something there for these for these kids. That's kind of a middle ground. I, I agree. I think I think he should definitely get that off the ground. I am uh, in a hundred percent agreement with that. If he's able to make it happen, I think he. Of course, is the funding. Of course, is you know, having the money to be able to do things and to have the particular sponsors and where you're going to have it at and all of that. But I think he, I think he's going to circle himself around people that have maybe done this before or that's smart about it. So you're tuning into the BS3 Sports Show. I'm your host, Ben BS3. Title of the show, RIP Legion of Doom, because it is over they're all split up the last person there they got Earl Thomas Cam Chancellor and his talks as if Cam Chancellor will probably never play again based on his coach now I don't know about that I don't know if he'll never play again but I do know that it'll probably never be the same again and Wilk says RIP yes he'll probably never be the same again So, we are taking callers, number 469-351-0881. Anybody want to call in, join in on what I'm talking about? 
but also in NCAA basketball. Rick Patino says he wants to coach again in the college or in the pros. He just wants someone to believe in him. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you just got caught up in one of the biggest scandals ever. Nobody's going to just drop a dime and and scoop you up. There's not going to be people running to you to say a 55 or 65, I believe a 65-year-old Rick Patino, we want you to be the coach of our team. You were linked to this scandal. There was also reports that he took money from Adidas, which maybe it wasn't illegal, but Rick Patino, it's done. It's done. I don't see anyone coming to you to say, can you coach our team? I get it. I get it. He wants to stay in coaching. But this comment right here almost sounds like he, he almost sounds like like he like he needs to get his fix. Almost like a crackhead. Like, please somebody, please somebody give me a fix. Like, you you coach for a very long time. You've done a great job for a very long time. There's a lot of of young up and coming coaches that could probably do the same or do better than you. And if you're going to go into some kid's living room and say to a parent, you can trust me, you can trust me with your kid, I would have a hard time believing and it would be very, very difficult for me to trust somebody in him. All right, so we got a caller up on the line. What's your name and what you want to talk about? Yo, Ben, BS3, it's your boy Big L, man. What's good, brother? Hey, what's going on, man? Appreciate you for calling in. I know you're in them streets, but... Uh, yes, yeah, sir. You I time. mean, you got you. I got you on in the car, man. I'm listening to some good sports talk, man. But um, speaking on this NCAA, my brother. Yeah. I just want to talk about that for a minute, man. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, that's like a billion dollar business, man, and... I've seen um, I've seen that the major school players should average they should earn about a million dollars each. Wow! On the team, that's how much they deserve to be paid. You know, and the teams, the schools still get paid. You know, as a as a wage scale, they should be making a million dollars. And it was like the the bench players should be making about three hundred thousand, then three hundred thousand wow. for a bench player in college. That's crazy. You know, that is something, man. But you know, you don't hear this kind of thing from ESPN. You never hear it on ESPN, uh, you know, Fox, and all these places because you know they all in part of all of them are part of that business, man. Of you know, keeping the players, you know, hey, you just need an education. You need to get your education, man. What's the? Could you tell me what's the percentage of college sports players that get a? A degree in four years. Did you, do you know that by chance? <laughs> I do not. Pretty low. I'm going to look it up. It's got to be It's got to be pretty low. I would say it's less than 50% get a get a degree in four years. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I know it took me longer. It took me longer than four years to get mine. But, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, took, it, took yeah. me, it took me four and a half, and I was yeah. supposed to be the smart one in the family, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, brother. So, I'm telling yeah. you, man. With, <laughs> yeah, this education part, man. You know, that's just a little smoke screen they throw in front of people, man. Because these players, you know, they can't work to make any extra money. You know, sports is a full time um, job, basically, and exercise and all that stuff. You throw it in there, man. And these guys, man, can't take a full college course load. These guys can't do 24 hours. You know, 24 hour cottage critics, you know, a semester. They can't do that stuff, man. Yeah, it, it's it's a cop out. I think that's just a way to say, yeah. we're giving you something. Why don't you just take this that's it. and be quiet? No. The yeah, billion you, dollars. Yeah, you're not a slave. No. Nah, yeah. Uh, yeah. We, they can say you're not a slave, a you see. Yeah, right. Exactly. But that's crazy the statute you came out with, especially with. Um, with the numbers that the starters should be making a million, the bench yep. thirty thousand. They they how much 
would they be able to do with that money, with them, with their families, with if they just want to save the money, if they want to put make a college fund for their own kids, whatever it may be, they what they could do with that money would be amazing if they just wasn't so greedy. They're just so greedy. That's what it comes down to. Yeah, basically, man, that's very true, my brother. Very true, man. I just call it in, brother. Glad to be on here, man. X squad, squad up. Definitely appreciate you, Mocha Bella. Mocha Bella just jumped in the chat room. She said, "Good afternoon." Um, she Mocha. <laughs> man, I love y'all going at each other, man. <laughs> man, you know what? Mocha has called in the zero shows. Don't nobody know what she sound like, man. <laughs> she will. She I'm will. She will one day. <laughs> All, All right, right I'm out. Peace out. All right, man. Take care. All right, that was my man Big L, part of the X Squad. I love when he calls in, loves his question, his comments. Appreciate you, Mocha, for coming through. She said, oh, no, Big L on the phone. Yep, yep, Big L calling in. Um, so, again, we're taking callers for the remainder of the show. 469-351-0881, join in. Um, so... You know, Rick Pitino should not get a job. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. No. Uh-uh. As many assistant coaches as there are, as there is, they there's so many other people out there than Rick Pitino. Like, the name is not big anymore. Listen to this. Rick Pitino's name is no longer a catch. No one's running to the name Rick Pitino. No one's going to be running as a recruit to Rick Patino, so he should not get a job. Your career's over with, it's done. Maybe go into the booth, you could do that. Go into the booth and call some college basketball games and be done with it. All right, on to some NFL news. Jerry Jones reimburses the NFL that $2 million that at first he said he wasn't gonna pay. <laughs> so. I don't know what changed. I think part of it is that he wants to be able to continue to argue his points. And probably to do that, he needed to get this out of the way so then he can continue to talk. <laughs> and um, Big Al says, Ben BS3, never heard of you, Mocha. <laughs> I think I have. You think you did a you did a, um, a congratulations to the podcast brothers, I think on like their 100th episode of their year episode or something and I think I heard your voice at that time but you can call in you can call in Mocha you got anything you want to talk about phone lines are open to anyone so Jerry Jones ended up paying that 2 million in the legal fees and Zeke was very appreciative of that because that was really from that case and from everything that happened with them fighting the Zeke uh, suspension, which I don't know if they should have fought it that long because it definitely ended up affecting the Cowboys throughout the rest of the season. So Jerry Jones ends up paying that money. This is far from over, though. Him and Goodell are going to be going at each other, I'm sure, uh, for longer. So this this isn't this is far from over. This isn't over with yet. So definitely, it's definitely. It hasn't ended yet. So everybody thinking that this is over with. He's still going to be going at. Still going to be going at uh, Roger Goodell for a while now. All right. Also from other news. Adam Pacman Jones. His. Uh, his uh, option was declined by the Bengals. And. Where is he going to go? I think he's still got a few more years in him. He, he's it's not over with for him. He still he still got some legs in him. He still got some fresh legs. I think he can still come through and and compete for a cornerback spot. Um, do I want the Cowboys to go after him? Probably not. He's already been here, and that didn't work out the first time. So I don't think that's an option. 
Uh, but he'll draw. He'll 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 arrive at some.